with Dead Relatives is a new Kiwi play which focuses on family histories and stories. Joining us in studio now are director Jennifer Ward Leland and writer and performers Phil Ormsby and Alex Ellis. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> <Good morning. laughs> yeah. yeah. Last night I trust everything went amazingly. It did. Yes. It was fabulous. Yes. Fabulous. That's what we like to hear. <laughs> um, Alex, tell us a little bit about the play. Uh, so, it's about, you know those stories that you hear growing up um, all the time about your family? Well, some people do, some people don't. But in my family, we told a lot of stories. So there were always kind of stories being shared across the dinner table or, you know, um, after a few glasses of wine, maybe. Um, <laughs> and the stories kind of change, <laughs> depending yeah. on how much wine you've had. Um, yeah, and we, we, Phil and I were talking about that, and he doesn't have a lot of family stories. Um, and we started sharing them and comparing and maybe competing a little bit <laughs> about who had to be the crazy right. family. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and then we just thought, you know, there's some really cool stories in there. It'd be great to share them. And we, we have a theatre company, so we thought we'll put them into a play. <laughs> and, and Phil, I guess, you know, part of this was learning about your own family as well. Well, that's right, yes. So, as Alex said, she's got a lot of stories that have been passed down. Her family are great at telling stories. They've got, they seem to be able to trace themselves all the way back to the Ark, I think. <laughs> whereas, whereas, you know, both of my parents, um, they don't have, a, 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 you know, they seem not to have a history before them. My, my father had no living relatives, basically, the immediate family all dead, and my mum just one grand. So not much reminiscing going on on their part, so a bit more research required for me. But then the beauty of researching is a lot of stuff you can kind of invent. Yes. So <laughs> exactly. a good deal of my stories, there's a fair amount of And as a theatre company, you can make stuff up as well. Totally. Yeah. well totally. No, and I think, fairly that's what my, I think that's what my mum and dad have done over the years. I think some of the stories they tell aren't true. Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. the ones you know, right? Yeah. 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 Exactly. You're going to tell them. That's right. Yeah. 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 You've got your directing hat on for this one. Yes. What drew you to the script? Well, actually, the company drew me to the script because <laughs> um, I've wanted to work with them for quite a long time. They, they tour all around New Zealand with their own shows. I think this is their ninth show. Oh. And uh, and I really liked what I've seen, and the, so I think I probably told you that. <laughs> anyway, they asked me to come along and workshop this new play, which yeah. we did last year. They'd already been to Melbourne to to do a little um, little season at a, a new works festival. Yes, yeah. and uh, and uh, we had fun working together. And so when they decided to actually go ahead with the show. They asked me, and I'm very happily <laughs> agreed. Excellent. And, and how exciting is it actually doing something new and original? You know, because I guess a lot of plays are taken from overseas, and they are performed here brilliantly in New Zealand. But yes. this is, you know, from it's of the us. Group yes, it's of them. Yes, it's been it's been absolutely gorgeous because. One other thing is that every morning we've sort of been doing morning talks and we always talk about one of our ancestors. We've been bringing in books and treasures and, you know, newspaper articles and things like that. So there's always a really kind of wonderful, robust discussion before you even get going. It's really useful when your family actually do write things down for you too. Yes. Yes. Part of my family have done that. They've done a book on the Clark family history, which is mine, which is great. Yes. Um, I mean, family family trees are very in at the moment, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Because we're all doing DNA you testing. Yes, DNA I testing? have. I think you haven't. Have no, you? No, no. We, we were tossing up whether to do it or not for the play and then we sort of decided that actually we'll just stick with the stories that we know at the moment and kind of go from there and maybe we'll do it yeah. after the You <laughs> spit in the tube, send it off and come back, so what That's were right. you? Uh, uh, what did you find? Oh you yes, were? well, obviously the sort of Celtic side, but mm. German, which I knew, lots more Scandinavian mm. than I suspected. We could be. T I think we're sisters. We, actually, we may be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what did you get? Because you did it as well. Yes, I've done, and uh, a little bit of Malawian turned up nice. in my DNA. See, you wouldn't pick that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know what? The beautiful thing about this play is, is the relatives actually are in the play. Right. The ancestors come forward and engage in conversation with these two. So it's really, you know, beautifully theatrical. We get a Viking. We even get a Viking. There's Orm, Orm the Viking, who made Orm's Bay, Ormsby. No way. Yeah, yeah. Orm is, makes his presence felt very strongly. And, and so I, I, I read that you actually did a little bit of research and went home. How was that? I went home. You went back to, you know, you went travelling around the world. Right? A no, 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 no. We, no. That's yeah. right. We, we did go to the UK last year, but we never got that far up, actually. Right. We pretty much stuck around uh, the middle of England. It was weird finding places that I knew were connected with me, and then you'd find maybe just about five miles away, there'd be a town that Alex had a connection yeah, yeah. with, and that was a bit spooky. Because, it was. Yeah, we have some, we have similar 
backgrounds in New Zealand, but it's a bit scary to it's find crazy. out that we had you know, <laughs> quite close relationships in the UK about quite close relationships. years ago. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Alex, how did you decide what to include? Because I'm sure there was a vast amount of stories. Mm. Oh, it was really hard, actually, because you start to feel a bit guilty if you leave people out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the family are coming to watch. They haven't seen it. So I decided I wanted to tell a bit of a story about my grandma, and then I was like, well, I have to include my nana if I've got my grandma. <laughs> so, um, yeah, and it's just getting it, the balance right, you know, because there's romantic kind of stories and there's adventurous stories and, and stories of, you know, quite hard, yeah, quite a lot of hardship. So it's just trying to get the balance of, 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 of a mix of different things, I think, because every family history has, has a bit of all of that stuff. Yeah. Do you have a favourite story? Yes, I do. So um, one story that I've grown up with forever is a story of my great, great grandparents who um, had this beautiful romance and and it was kind of a little bit of a Romeo and Juliet kind of story, mm, you know, nice. families maybe didn't want them to be Without together. the poison at the end. Yes, yeah. 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 Good, good. No, it was exactly. a happy ending. Yeah, 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 yeah. It ends with Alex, which is nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's wonderful. Um, Jennifer, so you are directing these writers and performers. Does that make it more difficult for you when you've got the writers on stage? <laughs> no, no. They're, they're remarkably flexible. Uh, they do what you tell actually, them to do? But actually, you know what the interesting thing was? I keep saying to Phil, you've written this beautiful... I don't think you know what you've written. <laughs> you, you have to step up to the writing yeah. because it's, it's all there. The storytelling is all there so beautiful, beautifully and we have to honour that. Mm. And that, that's my role, is to make sure that, you know, as, as the outside audience, that, um, that we get the best, best storytelling possible. Good. Yeah. And, Phil, what do you want people to get out of coming and seeing this? Well, I hope that when people go away, they'll, they'll be motivated to look at their own families a little nice. bit closer, because I think that is something that enriches our lives, yeah. just that bit of knowledge about our history, our family history especially, makes us feel more strongly about who we are, you know. Mm. And somebody in the family has to write it down, yes. the older oh, generation, before they die and they yes. take the stories please with them. Or we'll make a play. Or we'll make yeah. a play. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Well, you. you can catch Conversations with Dead Relatives at the Basement Theatre in Auckland until Saturday. You can check out the Basement website for ticket details.